Good evening, everyone. How you all doing? So nice to see everybody. It's Joy of Life, aka Women of Courage. The job of the Lord is your strength. The job of the Lord is my strength. I hope you are doing so well. Thank God for another session. And today our topic will be on compassion. Compassion. You know, as Lent has come to an end, we give God the glory. I know most of you view me, you guys, you know, you did do you fasted and and I know God is faithful. He has answered every prayers. Even the ones who didn't remember to ask God, He has answered them. So welcome. If you're just joining us today, our topic is on compassion. Compassion. So let us pray. Heavenly Father God, I just want to thank you for this session. God, we praise you and we honor you for such a time as this, O oh God. Father, who is like unto you, there is no one. As we discuss on compassion, Father, give us the grace to have a better understanding of the meaning of compassion. Father, we pray. Speak through me, Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 So, our topic is compassion. What is compassion? What is compassion? So compassion is a sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering of misfortune of others. The compassion, sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering of misfortune of others. So, we as Christians, as women, we need to have compassion. We need to have compassion towards our husbands. Husbands, you need to have compassion towards your wives. It's very important for us to have compassion towards one another. When we live in a society whereby compassion sometimes it's very hard for people to show compassion to one another and you see where a man will tell his wife you're so fucked and when they got married to the woman she's slim and trendy and nice and our ship is all there but you know one thing when they when they give birth to a child or when some you know as years goes by those that put on weight and the man will like you too fat go and slim down and sometimes the man will just you know turn off and it's vice versa the man that you get married to is kind of sleek and nice and muscles and all those six pack and with time he start putting on weight and adding weight putting on weight and the wife will like and when I got married to you you're not looking like this and you just start struggling but you know what we need to have compassion towards one another we need to have compassion towards one another we need to have compassion let's look into the word of god let's look into the word of god what's because the word of god is our it's our blueprint it's where we go and, and, and get the answers how to live our life so let's begin the book of Colossians. So today we're going to look into the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 3, verse from verse 12. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. I read. Therefore, as Christ's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, Humility, gentleness, and patience. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So it's very important. And verse 13 says, Bear with each other and forgive one another. 
if you have if any of you has a grievance against someone else someone forgive as the lord forgive you but what we're looking at today it's that chapter uh, that verse 12 He said, clothe yourself with compassion. If you think you're having a weight issue or you, you, you know, you, you do to having to, to childbearing and you put on weight and, and, and you, you know, you're on the other side and your husband is getting, getting, you know, at you. All you have to do, man, walk a program with your wife, a healthy eating program, diet with her. Diet doesn't work anyway, diet never works. But a healthy eating program, exercise together, go jogging together, do something in the house together. I love that saying. Dance with your wife, encourage her, clothe yourself with, with, with compassion. It's not easy to have children. And the man as well, you know, sometimes due to fatigue and all things, you know. The man you know put on weight. Wife, encourage your husband. You know how to cook. Cook that healthy meal for your husband. Walk with him. Go out to walk in. Power walk in. It will help. Dance with him. Do something of interest of your husband. Because I tell you what, by the time you start complaining and start nagging your wife, that will make her to put on that will put on more weight that is not you know showing a compassion and you, you, you don't have to compare your wife with someone else and wife you don't have to compare your husband with someone else no we need to have compassion towards one another towards one another the word of God says that it says it here therefore as God chosen People holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Be patient with your wife. Be patient with your husband. We cannot live the way the secular will live. We are chosen generation. Remember that. And let's look into another, another scriptures that talks about compassion again. James chapter 5 from 11 he said as you know we count as blessed those who have persevered you have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about about the Lord is full of compassion and mercy our God is full of compassion and mercy so God is so merciful it's full of compassion. So let's all show mercy and compassion towards our spouse. I love you and God bless you till we meet again. Shall we pray? Let's end the session by praying to God, our Father in heaven. Heavenly Father God, we just want to thank you this evening. Thank you for your word. Thank you because you're God of compassion. Thank you because you've, you've showed us how to have compassion towards one another. Your God that is full of compassion and mercy. Father, give us the grace to have compassion and mercy towards our spouse. Oh, Father, we pray. Teach us how to have compassion. Teach us how to have patience, humility, gentleness, oh God. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray if there's anyone that is struggling, if there's any couple that is struggling, Father, may you give them the grace to have compassion towards one another. Oh, Lord, Father, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So thank you for watching. I hope we'll see you again. God bless you. It's Joe of Life, a.k.a. Woman of Courage. Remain blessed till we meet again. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.